<laughs> See you at school. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. Oh no. They're they're having some feelings about saying goodbye about it. What what are y'all doing? Wow, that was an insane fourth episode. So where do we go from here? He had his abilities right because of Turbo Granny. But if Turbo Granny's exercise, then he shouldn't have any abilities now. Right? Hmm. I don't know, because he... For that brief second, maybe it's because he bit her boob or or something like that. But for like during this episode, he was able to use the ability at will. Like it wasn't a situation where he was like uh like Turbo Granny was in control of his body at like period like 100%. He was in control of his body, he was able to switch back and forth between using the power on his own. So I'm wondering if it's a possibility, if it's a chance that the ability itself probably transferred completely to him at that time. Because he did what he did, because he did the yeah with the yeah, is a situation where it completely twisted and pushed the ability over to him or her speed ability, or it could be a situation where the ability actually was his ability all along, and Turbo Granny was just uh, accessing his power, and it actually wasn't hers whatsoever, but I, I, I'm i not entirely sure, because where could the anime go from here? I mean, we had an entire Attack on Titan scene right here. Like, where can the anime go? I mean, we, we figured out the aliens and uh monsters uh are aliens and ghosts are 100 percent real uh so because it's right over here she he tried, attempted to use the ability but she turned it off because she just gave him back his dick and then as soon as she gave him back back his dick she he was no longer like in control of the actual ability anymore it was like he was just borrowing it from that point on like it's weird that his entire thought process was i can't physically fight her i guess i'll bite her boob and maybe that may be a way for me to <laughs> to get an advantage but it worked it's weird but it actually worked it actually worked in his favor and it's like because even the uh, even the uh, power itself turned completely different. Like, look how he looks compared to what he looked, how he looked before. The transformation now has the glasses and everything on it. Like, as though it's embedded into his own personal body. And she learned how to be able to compress the curse without actually having to physically look at it. I love the uh, entire uh, interpretation, though, of her ability, because in her mind this is how her ability is actually working it's like hands going out and grabbing whatever whatever it is that she's looking to hold or or possess or control or anything like that is weird it's almost that like she herself is able to reach out and uh and touch it just with her own personal personal mind But man, this this anime is so so damn good. But look, it looks like he's in control, and Turbo Granny is just a passenger at this point. Like, as though he's taking control full control over the ability now. But he was still able to only like use it so much, obviously because he hadn't 
gotten any actual control over it. He hasn't had any like actual time to move or maneuver with the ability back and forth. So he hasn't gotten a chance to understand how the speed works or how the form itself actually works or functions. But all in all, it it looks like he, he was able to just use it on and off perfectly fine by itself. And Momo herself, she's she's so damn smart and capable. Like in in there was not a single situation where I was like, yeah, I I can't see how a person thought of that or came to this conclusion that they can do something like this to uh get out of this weird situation. Her entire thought process is just overcoming what whatever obstacle is right in front of her simply by just talk either a talking it out b try to distract or out outsmart someone like she completely outsmarted them and just grabbed the train like the train obviously moves fat at 120 miles per hour she she's a 100 kilo granny so that means that she runs 100 kilo kilometers but the uh the train itself runs at 120 kilometers but turbo gray was what's the head of that she was like oh well if uh <laughs> It the train has to slow down when it ever makes turns. But yeah, grandma was ready and waiting. She had her uh stakes, her uh gate and everything like that set up so that so I'm wondering if it was a situation where did her grandma and her talk about this and just leave Okaron out of it? Like, did they come up with this type of plan and and purposely leave Okaron out of it just in case Tilbury Granny might be listening. So her entire plan, Momo's entire plan was to try to get as close to, <coughs> to this spot as possible um, in a specific time window to try to uh, grab the train or either A, eventually get close to this spot so that way she can get onto the train and get down to where um, her grandma is, is stationed. Because you can see, obviously, this right here is the city limit. So this marks the edge where her power can no longer uh, be in any type of control. Like in all these damn sigils and seals and everything like that, as soon as she just goes through, she's just incinerated immediately. Like, and it looks like they said that Turbo Granny was specifically uh, going to all these different women or whatever like that. And... uh and help attempted to help their souls or something like that. Um, perhaps she was uh, consoling the spirits of the girls who couldn't rest in peace, uh, as though she was like keeping or protecting the, the uh, spirits of these girls who couldn't rest in peace. But eventually, her staying in the human world for so long eventually possibly corrupted her in the long run and caused her own personal like torture or her own personal corruption. Because they said that originally Turbo Granny was just like a, was originally known as 100 kilometer Granny. She wasn't like anything like really terrifying or anything that was harming people in any type of way. So mediums just didn't, didn't care to consult or do anything about it. Like, but I wonder what changed her from from looking to consult uh, lost spirits to wanting to be this, to use the spirits to manipulate people and, uh, and try to attack people and consume souls and stuff like that. It's crazy. Maybe it's a situation where after a certain amount of time, spirits just become corrupted after they've spent a certain amount of time in the human world and that automatically turns their entire body like um bad in some type of way because i was under the impression that the crab itself was a thing that was controlling her and she was trying to use momo in order to free herself so that way she wouldn't be con uh connected to that uh particular location but no it's the other way around turbo granny is the one in control the crab is just something that she's controlling to end up helping her in, in the long run but man this episode was freaking amazing but I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Uh, and subscribe down below for more videos just like this one. Make sure you like me, love me, and talk to me down below. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace.